We're going to be talking about coal, right? <laughs> nice. Well, former majors Biocon and Pfizer have entered into a strategic goal, global agreement for the worldwide commercialization of Biocon's insulin products. Pfizer will make an upfront payment of $200 million for four biosimilar products. Pfizer is trying to expand further into emerging markets. And joining us now on the phone on, from New York is Ms. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, Chairman of Biocon and David Simmons, President of Pfizer's established product business. Thanks very much for joining us. Now, click, quickly, if you could give us a sense of what this means for Biocon? Well, I think this is a very, very important uh, development for Biocon because it allows us to partner with a company like Pfizer, which has a huge uh, market presence globally, and they have a very, very strong marketing and, uh, uh, you know, medical uh, infrastructure that will allow us to basically uh, take these insulins uh, to world markets uh, in, a, in a very significant way. Right. Um, Ms. Shaw, what will some of the proceeds be used for? For instance, are you looking at, ex you know, doing uh, more when it comes to expansion in R&D? Uh, can you shed some more details on that? Well, the plan is to really use these, uh, these upfront payments to uh, take and develop these products and take them to uh, world markets, especially to the regulated markets, uh, that is uh, Europe and U.S apart from which we also will be utilizing some of these uh, 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 proceeds uh, to expand our current uh, manufacturing capacities. So that is really what the intended use of these funds are. And also with us is David Simmons, President and GM of Pfizer, the established products business unit. Thanks for being with us, Mr. Simmons. Now, again, a simple question for Pfizer. How important is this development? What do you see as the future with these products for India? Um, well, first, uh, th this partnership is very significant for us. Um, we have recently uh, approved a biosimilar strategy in Pfizer that um, uh, more or less is a combination of internal development efforts and uh, important strategic external partnerships in areas where we don't have the uh, capabilities or, or time to market um, benefits. Um, and that's why we're very excited about partnering with Biocon, who uh, has a demonstrated uh, level of high quality of manufacturing and development, as well as what we believe will be first to market um, capabilities for the whole suite of insulin products. Right. Um, the market for insulin products worldwide is estimated at $14 billion, and that's the backdrop of the market sizing that we aim to compete. Right. Mr. Simmons, will you also be looking at picking up a stake in Biocon or any other Indian company at any point? Is that something that could possibly be on the cards? Any more licensing deals such as this as well coming up? Um, well, first of all, our partnership uh, announcement today is focused on an agreement with Biocon that covers um, recombinant insulin and the three insulin analogs. And we're very, very focused and committed on taking this um, partnership to its next stage, which is uh, immediately uh, hitting the ground running and commercializing in the 27 markets where uh, recombinant insulin has been approved already and progressing the regulatory advances in Europe and then the United States. Um, on the second part of your, your question, um, a key part of our established product strategy is to broaden our product portfolio. We are um, specifically very interested in what we call hard to make, hard to manufacture products, which biosimilars fit in. Um, whether we develop these products in-house or license from uh, partners or acquire um, is dependent on the, the financial um, criteria that uh, one of those options will have benefits over the others. In this case, it is clearly much more beneficial to uh, partner with uh, the high-quality company that Biocon is from a speed-to-market and a capabilities perspective. Um, so that's how we think through what we do, whether we do it internally or through partnerships. Well, this uh, final question is for Mr. Simmons and Ms. Shaw together. Perhaps I could begin uh, uh, with Ms. Shaw. Is this the, the beginning of a beautiful relationship between Pfizer and Biocon, and do we expect more such uh, agreements between the two companies? If I could request Ms. Shaw to answer first. 
Well, we certainly see it as that because we certainly believe that uh, there is a huge amount of synergy between Pfizer and Biocon, and this is the first step, and we will evaluate other opportunities as we go along. Mr. Simmons, where could these opportunities come from? Well, Biocon is a, a tremendous company with a lot of capabilities, um, but again, we are focused on this initial partnership around insulin and the analogs, and we're really keen on demonstrating that we're going to be able to make this partnership work, and the ultimate um, expression of that partnership is going to be serving diabetes patients whose needs are not met. So we're very focused on, on getting that done. We're not getting too far ahead of ourselves right now. All right, uh, Mr. Simmons, Ms. Shaw, thanks so much for joining us and taking us through some of the contours of that deal. Uh, quite a big out licensing deal coming in there for Biocon. And remember, you heard it first right here on Bloomberg UTV. And that's all we have from our end. Up next is Life in Style with Chris Kupoto. The I what do you have for us tonight?